Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're going to be doing a uh, final like season harvest. I got a little bit of background noise. We're cutting some wood for next trailers. Uh, but I want to do a harvest video for you guys because we still have a lot of stuff, <laughs> you know, growing in, in the yard. And we're going to be doing like, I guess, the last harvest. I, I don't think anything else will be growing after now. Uh, the bees have mostly died down by the potatoes, but uh, they had a they have like a nest in the side of the wall, and they have one inside the dirt. So I really don't want to harvest any potatoes today, especially. Um, and something interesting, huh, I would get close, but I don't want to get too close. Uh, but something interesting is we actually had just this random bit of asparagus grow. I already had a bee just land on me, so I'm stiffing back from there again. I definitely don't want to get stung again. Uh, we got some tomatoes still there. Uh, it looks like there's nothing red yet. Uh, but we're going to be harvesting these peppers. So you saw a video uh, of these peppers before. And they're so heavy at this point. The plant's kind of leaning down over here. Uh, before I begin, I just want to say... Uh, if you guys have been liking these videos, we've been posting every day for, I don't know, it's probably been like two weeks now, uh, like 14 or 15 days. So if you li guys like this video, um, you know, like and subscribe really helps our channel. Uh, it helps us, you know, kind of keep doing what we're doing and, you know, motivates us to put out more videos and more interesting stuff. Uh, so we have a couple of different cool things planned. Uh, we built a bar inside the house, so I'm going to do a walkthrough of that. Um, and I'm also actually replacing the flooring inside the house, too. So let me know if you want to see something uh, you know, something unique like that as well uh, on our channel. So we're not just uh, you know, showing you guys trailers and stuff anymore. As always, while picking uh, some vegetables, I got my little helper here. So uh, let's start. We got a bunch of peppers. And these peppers are really spicy. When they when they get up to size, they're really hot. And I don't think I'm gonna collect all of them. You know, we got some uh, still small ones, but I think anything bigger than like a finger, I'm gonna collect. Uh, I don't know if the other ones will grow, but I'd like them to grow a little bit bigger at least. Oh, look at that! We got an awesome bell pepper. We have not been able to harvest any bell peppers this year. Um, I think we did one last week on video, uh, but we like never officially picked any more than that one, uh, because my uh, brother keeps eating them. So he comes into the garden and he, he just finds these peppers and just picks them and then eats them. And we have, uh, no idea of it usually, uh, but we got some good bell peppers, pick some of the leaves off with this one. We got a bunch still growing, so I think I'm gonna leave some of them. Like this one's still pretty small. All right, let's see. Oh, we got this nice one. It's a nice pepper. So I'm not sure what exactly the variety of these are. They're kind of like uh, they're uh, I think they call them like finger hot longs or something like that. Not 100% sure because uh, we planted them. Well, these are the ones that we planted by seed. So these came out uh, from one of the seed packets. And, uh, you know, they grew up until this point. And we got one more down there. But I think it might have touched the soil. Yeah. Looks like it touched the soil and rotted a little bit. So we can give these the... That's the alpha uh, alpha male rooster. So you can see he's waiting for me. Because uh, he I normally give him food. And let's see if we can actually catch this. this. This is pretty cool what happens. So look, I'm, I'm handing him the pepper. Let's see if he's going to bite it first. All right, he's not a fan of pepper. But let me throw it. Let's see. <laughs> All right, he wasn't a fan of that. Let's see if we can get a tomato. It's a, it's a really cool uh, thing that they do. Uh, the alpha, alpha ro roosters do. And we have a, a calling technique for these guys. You can see all of them just lifted up their heads. 
All right, so let's see if he's going to do it. Yeah, so he stopped eating, yeah. Yeah, so I, I threw it. Uh, he, he picked that at once. Usually he'll do a call. He's got a a, a, um, a call for the other chickens. He'll call them over, basically, and uh, allow them to eat. And he'll he'll raise his head and just just stay uh, you know stay in the area, but not not eat what he's uh, what I just threw. I, I think it's well, it's kind of like a show of dominance. So he's um, he's acting nice for the ladies, basically, and uh, allowing them to have uh, the food while he uh, you know kind of acts like the the tough guy. He's like, oh, I don't I don't need that food. All right, so I also want to go through and pick some of these okras. There's, looks like there's actually a lot of them. A lot more than I was expecting, uh, which is uh, good, but still uh, not exactly prepared to pick all these. We have some very overgrown ones. Uh, we typically don't like growing the okra this big. And I don't know if you guys, you know, have, have eaten okra before or planted it before. Uh, but when it's this big, it's uh, very, well, it's very hard, first of all. Uh, it's very like fibrous when you're trying to eat it uh, so we, we usually pick them you know this this small and maybe a little bit bigger uh, but not much bigger than that just because it's uh, it becomes fibrous after that point so we got some more here um, sometimes it's difficult to tell what's a flower and what's not an okra like look at this one this one looks like an okra let's see if we could focus on there it doesn't want to focus this one looks like an okra but it's actually a flower uh, so we have a lot more flowers still like here's another one looks like an okra but it's actually a flower you can kind of tell from the tip the tip has these like little little um, hairs almost sticking off it let's check out these ones yeah these ones the same way just a bunch of flowers on them all right so let's uh there's one huge one here again. So let's pick this guy. And you can see we have a lot of potatoes sticking out of the ground. And actually, I'll, I'll collect some of these potatoes here. Because uh, they're not really close to the bees. I don't think the bees will get angry if I pick those. Uh, we have a really big... Um, well, it's supposed to be a squash or, or something like that. I don't remember the name of these. Um, but it's... Once you let it grow too big, it becomes orange like a pumpkin. So now this is going to be a pumpkin decoration for us. So let's uh, put that in our basket too. Move some of this stuff over. I don't want them to get dirty because it's a little bit muddy. And our chickens are helping clean up the soil a little bit. So that's nice of them. That one is asking to be stung by bees, but we'll see. And they've definitely dug up some of my potatoes, so uh, it's not good. The potatoes are not supposed to be in the sun, uh, so that once the potato kind of gets gets into the sun, it it becomes like poisonous. Uh, it, it's uh, they they turn green basically, and they uh, have some kind of uh, like a salty, bitter taste, and. Uh, they have some kind of poison in them. I don't remember what the specific name of the poison is. Uh, but the leaves are the same way. The leaves are also poisonous, even though like regular potatoes. I don't know where I uh, put the shovel, I think. I think I used the shovel to clean out the uh, the chicken chicken's nest. Chicken coop. So let's, uh, let's use a pickaxe. Chickens are freaking out. So let's use a pickaxe and see if we could get at least uh, one group of potatoes without cutting them open. Uh, it looks like we already cut one open. See, that, that's why uh, you need the right tools for the job here. Through, through dirt everywhere, but check out that potato right there. It is bright purple, pink, magenta. It's amazing. No idea where that other end went. Here's a another potato. Actually, I think these are sweet potatoes. So these are, you can see, they're vines. So these are sweet potato vines, technically. Uh, but 
there's also like purple sweet potatoes in here. Oh yeah. This one's huge. So since these were on the ground, I don't have an issue with, uh, you know, eating these and taking them. Actually, we're going to have to take the squash out. So yeah, I'm going to, here, let's do this. I'm going to dig up this plot a little bit, kind of open up the soil and uh, kind of reveal some of the potatoes. And then I'm going to get the camera back and do this. I don't have a cameraman with me unfortunately so uh kind of uh picking potatoes solo right now but let me open these up and i'm gonna bring you guys back into the video and show you guys what we got 